brief review of the Enforce APL weapon light. Well, this week I wanted a holster that could uh, contain that weapon light. So, main issue being that um, I didn't want to have to screw the light on and off every single time I changed it from bedside mode to carry mode. I do like to try and keep just one uh, one weapon that I use. That way, I'm much more proficient with it. Um, it just, it comes to me more naturally because it's all I use. So what I decided to do was get a Bravo Concealment Kydex holster. Kydex is all the rage among the uh, Tactical crowd. It's basically form-fitted plastic that will, um, that will match the gun and light combination. So what this does is it actually allows me to carry the gun with the light, obviously. I've converted this one to be inside the waistband, and um, to be honest, Despite all the rage of Kydex, I don't like it. Uh, first and foremost, the retention is not great. If I bring this chair over here, something to catch the gun. Um, it, it will retain the gun upside down, but just a slight little, slight little pop, and the whole thing comes out. It's, not, uh, it's actually not as much force as I would like. I would like a little bit more retention out of it. I know that's being nitpicky, but that is something I want. Uh, it is nice that they offer it in these colors, but one of my gripes is that a lot of these holsters are going to be 50, 60, you know, 90, 120 dollars. Um, 50 and 60 is probably the cheapest you can get them for, and I just don't feel that it adds that much. It's cool that it's custom, but one of the costs of that is that you can't fit any gun in it. So I have a gun that's intended for my Glock but that I will sometimes carry uh, my 1911 in. I don't mean gun, I mean leather holster. And that leather can actually form and fold, so I can make do, at least, you know, for a short term at the range or stuff like that, um, with, with the leather holster in my 1911. This is way too form-fitted, and if you see it's closed at the front, uh, almost entirely closed. So you can't carry anything but the intended gun in it. Another thing you'll notice, is that it's fairly straight up and down. There is an option for more cant, but almost every site is gonna charge you more for that. I was for the up and down uh, because I've become, and now that I'm remembering it, I'll make a video of a proponent of a appendix carry, carrying right here. And that was a lot of what I intended the holster for. There's a lot of good benefits to it. But the problem being, um, in, my, in my experience, this Kydex, it's just too wide and just too rigid. Um, I know I'm a skinny guy, but there's just not enough room. It's always either cutting into the inside of my thigh or it's pressing a little bit too much on my pelvis. And especially when I sit down, it's just, it just doesn't agree with me. It's uncomfortable. Um, it's not something that I can really do. Also, it's so wide. If I try to carry inside the waistband, I have to take my belt and crank my belt, you know, way off, off center just to be able to get around the belt loops. So another thing that I don't like about it is that when I do carry uh, in that upright position, which again, uh, was intending it for appendix carry, which is why I didn't get the cant, I prefer actually with my leather holster to get a lot of cant going. A couple reasons, one is it's more ergonomic for my hand going back, because it's your hand wants to go backwards, it doesn't want to have to crank over on top. But also if someone was to be trying to grab for your gun, it's that much further they have to crank their hand over to get around and get the gun out. Again, not very likely scenarios, but it does happen. What I found though is when I when I crank that cant over, the uh, the pistol grip is actually more straight up and down, which means it's harder for your shirt to come up over that pistol grip. So I found that in wearing this type of holster, it's much more common if I just bend over real quick at the house or something, that when I come back up, boom, all of a sudden, I've got something going on like this. I mean, it's not entirely behind the gun super obvious, but it, it could cause issues in the public, it could get you in trouble. That's something I don't like. Also, um, if you hear it, there's a certain sound to the draw. I would prefer a silent draw to something that makes a sound. Um, again, part of being concealed is that you're buying yourself a little bit of time because you have the element of surprise. You don't want something that's, you know, super... Like, you you hear that shrunk, you hear it, <laughs> you hear it draw. Um, then also, the other thing that I don't like is but again, I'm doing a bad job of showing this, but since it's, um, since it's plastic and it's such soft plastic or such smooth plastic, it slides around against my body and my boxers a whole lot. Whereas leather tends to be more tacky and grip and stay in place. So a lot of times it's really easy for this to start writing down, um, which means that I'm going to do one of the carrier tells, which is, you know, pulling your pants up, 
or doing just like a, a little bit of a belt line check when you get out of the car or something. And that also compounds because as the gun slides down, now that bending problem I was talking about becomes even worse. So overall, uh, I do think it's a, it's a very cool looking option. A lot of the pros use it. It does have a nice, easy, quick draw. It's not too much retention and it's gonna cause you trouble, but um, I just can't recommend it for a concealed option. It's too noisy, it slides around too much, it doesn't fit the appendix position. And um, yeah, I just, uh, it's a nice novelty thing to have. It's great to be able to have my light on my gun, but um, overall, especially given the price point, I could not recommend uh, any sort of a Kydex holster uh, at this current point in time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh god, hey. that was a 40. Hey. I need a warning. What do you think, assholes? <laughs> 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 That's it! <laughs> <laughs>